But the truth is, for most people, the gift of joy is a gift badly misunderstood. For it is so easily confused with a passing contentment, what we ordinarily call happiness. And it is a wonderful thing to seek happiness, to have your life in order, things where they are meant to be, our stress level, which perhaps is usually fairly high, lowered for a bit, to have an opportunity to repose, to enjoy, to be with friends, to have all things well. To pursue that, to pursue that type of happiness is not a bad thing, but it doesn't last, does it? It never does. And if you're going to be a faithful disciple of Jesus, it certainly will not last. For we know, you and I, in our own life of discipleship, that each time we have gone forth to preach the gospel, it has cost, sometimes dearly, sometimes cost even our friends and the comforts of our life. So suffering and discipleship are intimately connected. The Lord Jesus taught us that. So this Sunday reminds us that in the life of a disciple, who at times will be called to suffer, that life can also be a joyful one. It may not be a happy one, but always a joyful one, because joy is that deep abiding sense that God gives to every human heart that recognizes and believes deeply that he will take care of us that he will never abandon us. The beautiful image that animates my own life is to think of a hand and someone sitting in the palm of a hand and God embracing that person and never letting go. If you and I actually believe that of God, then we are a people of joy because pain and suffering will pass but God's love never passes, does it? It lasts forever, unto eternal life, unto the glory of heaven, when we will be joining the angels singing the joyful hymns of praise for all eternity. So my friends, on this Gaudete Sunday, I'm sure there's much to do. Christmas is not far. There are gifts to buy and cards to write and places to go to and houses to clean and food to buy and so much other things that are all meant to bring happiness to us and our families. But don't forget the greater gift of joy that is always there for the asking, for the heart that is willing to recognize that it is in the quiet of Bethlehem that the Lord Jesus comes to caress us, to walk with us, to accompany us, to strengthen us, even in times of suffering, and loving us to the end.